What's going on everybody? So today I wanted to go over some slide things. How to practice, what to practice, maybe a lick or two, um, but mainly just getting your hands together when it comes to slide. Because that's really the big thing. You really want to have your right and left hand synced up. It's not more important than your typical, <laughs> typical playing, but your right hand does a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to slide, as opposed to regular guitar playing, fingered guitar playing, I guess if you want to use that word, which is weird, but yeah, where you really rely heavily on the left hand for when you use a pick or with your fingers, but when you play slide, it's really right hand that's doing a lot of the work. So let's get into it. So first things first, a couple slide basics. Um, I'm using my fingers for this, no pick. Pick makes it way harder in my opinion. There's certain times where a pick works, but for this kind of single note slide playing, we definitely don't want to use the pick. So first things first, just basics. We want to play the note on top of the fret. Not behind it. That's flat. Not in front of it. It's sharp. Right? Before we worry about any vibrato or anything, we're not really going to go over that in this lesson. Just worry about playing the notes right. So take things you already know, um, and we're in standard tuning, by the way. I uh, don't do open E just because you got to have another guitar, and most people don't have an extra guitar to keep an open E all the time, and it's a whole other knowledge and a whole other background with theory and everything. So my whole idea was, let me just play in standard because I already know where all the notes are. Right? So... Play, just start with the pentatonic scale. So we're in A. And see that last one's a little bit... I want to keep that in key, so... Right? Now, play any other lick that you know that is kind of if it's like those kinds of things don't work they just sound different so say it's a lick like with just we'll play with the fingers to figure it out Now we play with the slide, because then we can match the intonation. So it's all about matching the intonation. And before you even try to slide or do vibrato, just... Then we start getting into those types of things. Now let's go down and check out my right hand when we do those things. So I'll do that same lick again. So we've got. So I'm starting the D string. I'm using my thumb while muting the rest of the strings underneath or above up here. And I switch the first finger. And then when I stop playing that D string, you can see my thumb is sitting there so that if I do that, all you hear is the G string. And I'm doing a shift when I go to the B string, bringing my thumb down to the G string, and then I've got my middle finger on the high E so that And it can change. You can use your middle finger too. I don't use any other fingers besides these three. Sorry for the band-aid. Cut myself on some paper earlier. As you can see, as my move, you can see my hand going up and down and following just so that I've always got strings muted. Now, if you're playing down low, low, like, you probably don't need to mute this high E because your finger's gonna be so far up here. 
that it, it won't really matter. So let's come back up and talk about some slides. So a huge part of slide is getting one that feels comfortable on your fingers, right? And there's tons of, there's really three main fingers people use. It's either middle, ring, or pinky. I have experimented with all of them. I really like the third finger. I think it sounds the best. I know that might sound weird, but to get that. <laughs> I think that's a ring finger thing because you just get a little different control. It's not better, it's just different. So this is like a Dunlop, just uh, I think it's a medium um, length, medium wall. Wall is like how thick it is. This is a uh, medium or a large, I forget. This is a blues bottle, heavy wall, really thick, good sound. <laughs> Sounds very different than this. Sounds a little bit better, but this is more comfortable. It's definitely darker. Play the same lick. Now with the heavy wall blues bottle. It's got a nicer top end. Not nicer, but it's brighter. And then you've got your you see everyone use these. These are uh, just, I think this is also Dunlop. It's, uh, it's uh, what's it called? Brass, geez. Yeah, you see everyone use these, they're brass. Blues bottle. Same amount of not touching the volume or anything, same amount of gain, same amount of volume. I actually prefer the sound of this one. This is a little bit more classic sounding, this blues bottle. And this sounds real old. I really like this on acoustic or like a darker guitar because it's got this like, this wispiness. It's different, and the pinky is also good. This one's good for the pinky because it's nice and it's nice and thin. But the reason I think you should choose a finger is because you you get a different your perception of where the slide is is different on each finger. So the one you practice with the most is the one you should probably use. I may switch to the pinky. I've been thinking about it. Um, there's this guy on Instagram named Dylan Adams. I actually went to Berkeley with. He's apps. He's one of the best slide guitar players I've ever heard. Nobody sounds like him. I don't think. Not even Derek or anybody. And he's just unbelievable. I can't believe the things that he plays and the phrasing. And he's using the, his fingers and slide. It's incredible. So everyone should go check him out. I'll put his uh, handle in the description. Last thing we're going to talk about is an exercise to really get a hold of the slide with both your right and left hand. And this is kind of what I talked about at the beginning. So you're gonna start on really on any string, but I do G and D. So say you start on the third fret, you're gonna slide up, up to the seventh on the G string and back down on the D string from seven to three. And what this is good for is your right hand muting. So. I'm not stopping with my left hand, I'm going, just keeping it going and then. Now, if you keep going too far, it gets a little out of hand. So I'd keep it to just, you know, six, four, two frets. And that ends up being like. That ends up giving you that motion. It, it helps you get there. Because I'm just moving the, I'm just doing this, and then as soon as I pick, I mean, that was bad, but you know what I mean. I'm keeping the slide going always and choosing when the notes come out with my just my right hand. That's a little exercise. Kind of sounds like a ping, it's, if you think about it like ping pong. The ball never really stops, it just goes the other way. So that's the gist of it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on Friday with another video. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you then. Bye, everybody.